on that front. There's a new example of the very best of law enforcement, not just Watertown police, not just Boston police, but transit, fishing game, state police, uh, the FBI, um, the DEA, the bomb squad. The, I mean, it was an extraordinary law, law enforcement effort. And, and, and at the end of the day, um, you know, the, the nuances of Boston PD versus Malden PD versus one, these are nuances. And it, I, I, you know, I'm sensitive to them, but I think that what's important is law enforcement in the Boston area. That being said, you know, it's, it's interesting how things get re remembered. Right, and and I, I've I've met I think um, 20 different police officers who pulled in handcuffed jail cars. <laughs> 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 and 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 more than people saying that they were actually the ones who shot Bin Laden. What we think what we think probably happened was that. Watertown pulled them out and handcuffed them. They're not handcuffed them. Then put them back in the boat. Incident <laughs> <laughs> and everybody from all walks of life coming together to help, and that made me extremely proud to be from Boston. And I wanted to share that message. Um, and also, getting back to what you said, Pete and I were constantly talking about. Is it too soon? And I just felt like it's not soon enough because these things are continuing to happen and they will continue to happen. Uh, but we need to come together. And, you know, so uh, it just, yeah, as get to the, the final part of your question, I'm just proud of how people reacted and proud of how people came together. And I'm proud that, you know, we can now show people, you know, what Boston Strong really means. This horrific incident and everybody from all walks of life coming together to help. And that made me extremely proud to be from Boston. And I wanted to share that message. Um, and also, getting back to what you said, Pete and I were constantly talking about, is it too soon? And I just felt like it's not soon enough because these things are continuing to happen and they will continue to happen. Uh, but we need to come together. And, you know, so uh, it just, yeah, as get to the, the final part of your question, I'm just proud of how people reacted and proud of how people came together. And I'm proud that, you know, we can now show people, you know, what Boston Strong really means. Affected by this event, and uh, we went back to Boston and, and met with some of these people. The, the, the range of uh, our experiences, you know, and, and the areas you're talking about were very wide. There were people who were 100% supportive of it, there were people who were very, very skeptical and, and nervous about it. Um, there were people who were indifferent. There were people who were bored. There were people who were still, you know, in a, in a deep grieving process, who were just um, grieving. Uh, and uh, so, so all of our, our interactions were different. There was, there was, there were, you know, it was very hard to generalize an answer to that question. But uh, our approach. Uh, and, and Mark was very uh, uh, much my partner in this, was to sit down uh, with absolutely everybody that we thought would sit down with us. And, it, and, we, and we also had uh, some wonderful producers, uh, and Michael Radowski and, and Scott Stuber and Hunt Parker, who also, uh, you know, there were so many people that we wanted to meet with, and we wanted to be very transparent about what we were doing and 